Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, setting up a uh, single node uh, uh, cluster on public uh, cloud. Uh, I am taking uh, AWS as an example, but most of this uh, uh, work in the similar manner on whatever cloud provider from which you have provisioned the uh, uh, servers or instances. Okay, so. Um, uh, so far, we have provisioned the instance, we have set up a cloudular distribution of Hadoop on it and uh, um, then to explore, you need to have some valid data set, okay. So for that, I have a data set which I got from Cloudera uh, Quick Start VM itself and uh, that is in, in my uh, GitHub repository. My my GitHub account is dgadi raju, and under this, there is a repository called code, which have directory Hadoop, and then edw directory edw, and then there is a directory called database. It has the uh, SQL script which will create the tables um, and insert the data into it. But before executing this one, we need to. Uh, create a, a new database in MySQL. For that, we will be logging in as uh, root, and the database name which we will be creating is retail underscore db. Okay, and then the username is because once we create a database, we might have to have a user uh, created, and then we have to grant permissions on the database to a new user or multiple users. For this purpose, we will be using a user called uh, retail underscore dba, which is not existing. Hence, we are creating a new user called retail underscore dba, identified by ITVersity. So, this is the password which I am giving. And then grant all on retail underscore db, which is database name dot star to retail underscore dba. So, we are granting all the permissions on retail underscore db database to user retail underscore dba using this grant command and then flush privileges okay once the privileges are flushed you can exit from here and to validate using password uh, we have to run a secure installation that you can do by running user bin mysql secure installation that is the script which you need to run hit enter uh, as of now root does not have any password so enter for none uh, set set root password yes i want to set uh, root password itvarsity is the root password here once uh, the password is set uh, remove anonymous users yes i want to remove the anonymous users disable or root login remotely which means that uh, from the servers outside this we uh, anyone cannot log in as root and i want to make it yes remove test database and access to it yes i don't want test database reload uh, privilege tables now yes okay so now we have installed the secure installation and so mysql hyphen u retail underscore dba is the username hyphen p is the uh, to prompt for the password and here we have to give the password and now we are able to log in as retail underscore dba and then you have to run show databases to make sure that you have access to retail underscore db okay so if you have access to retail underscore db then only you will see the database here at least you have to have minimum access to it so now we have created the database we have to download uh, this uh, script okay and uh, then you have to um, copy this script into uh, into the uh, into the host on which our uh, um, uh, setup is done and then we have to execute this script so i'll be taking care of uh, copying this file for that what you can do is on the host itself you can test whether there is a tool called git there is no tool called git here so we have to run sudo m-y install 
git because we are logged in as cloudera at this time uh, he is a sudoer which i have taken care as part of the earlier videos if it does not work then you have to open vi sudo command and make cloudera as sudoer as cloudera as sudoer it will work directly and also other alternative is login as root itself and run this m hyphen y install git now the git is installed and uh, i can clone the database by running git clone go to the uh, repository code that is the uh, git repository click on this cloner download and get this url and then paste it here and hit enter okay everything is downloaded now there will be a directory called code here cd code uh, hadoop edw and uh, database so this is the path which we are interested in ls hyphen ltr you can see retail db dot sql here so i will be copying this retail underscore db dot sql to home cloud era okay the reason why i am copying only that script is rest of the stuff is not required so now i will be deleting the repository okay now we have only retail underscore db dot sql now we can actually log in as retail underscore dba hyphen p password is itversity and then source retail underscore db dot sql and hit enter okay we need to select the database as we didn't select the database it failed so the database into which we want to uh, create these tables and insert data is retail underscore db now i can run this script now the tables are being created data is being inserted you can validate by running show tables command there are six tables and you can also validate data select star from uh, departments and hit enter you can see there are six records here you can see there will be handful of records in order items and orders uh, tables such as order items and orders so there are 170 2198 records so we'll be using these tables as part of the practice later so that's why we need to set up this uh, database and now we can run the scoop command again whether to check whether we can list the tables um, as uh, uh, retail underscore dba for let me type the command scoop list tables is the command and then first parameter is connect jdbc mysql forward slash you, this you can get it for using hostname minus f command or hyphen f command 3306 is the port number forward slash retail underscore db this is the database which we want to connect to to list the tables and then username retail underscore dba and password itversity make sure you don't have any typos while running these commands it can cause confusion and when you search for the uh, issue to uh, to fix it uh, or google uh, you will not get accurate information whenever you have typos so typos is uh, most dangerous aspect uh, while learning anything or while giving the certifications so you have to be extremely careful uh, while entering the passwords usernames uh, the uh, jdbc urls uh, typos should not be there okay now we can list all the tables here so we have set up mysql database which will be used for um, uh, development practice purposes later that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on uh, on the uh, course if you like this or if you want to provide the feedback please uh, do so so that i can improve on my content and finally if you want to discuss further about big data or hadoop please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen big data if you want to discuss further about certifications please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen certifications where we can discuss um, uh, in detail and i can come up with more and more content like this over time 
थैंक यू बाय